Na, hát három Rádió Dik, üdvözlünk minden kedves rádióhallgatót! Ez itt a romákról, nem csak romáknak szóló rádióadás. Hogy majd elő tudják venni akkor, amikor a nők már ilyen, nem tudom, 40-45 évesek, ami mondjuk, nem tudom, hosszabb ideig tartó. Roma people in general has not enough representation in mainstream media and in media in general. And even if they have, it's oftentimes not showing the right picture or the picture that true to the Roma community. It's oftentimes very stereotypical and, um, and you know, it's just in general not something that we are satisfied with as a community and as a minority. <laughs> I want to change how um, how the Roma people are viewed uh, in the society and I want to make sure there is enough light on the values as well uh, what the Roma community provided through history to the non-Roma uh, society and also to make sure that none, this is a very personal thing, that none of the Roma kids has to go through in the future that I had to go through growing up just because I'm Roma. Yesterday it was pretty rainy so I was thinking what's going to happen today but it's pretty good. All over Europe there is uh, 12 million Roma people, there are 12 million Roma people living, that's a country worth of people, but everywhere they live, live as minorities. So you know it's not, it's not our fairy tales what Roma people had to go through. People who actually reject the Roma are, do not can have any kind of information on the Roma people in general, so we wanted to fix that and that's how we are here and you are here right now. Do we have roots or not, you know? Like my family lives in Hungary, I live in Hungary, like I was born here, my great-great-great-grandparents were born here. We are living in a, in the, in a non-Roma world where we are, we are not the ones who are setting the rules and we are not the ones who, who really decide on big things. So we are trying to do so and, uh, and you know, empower ourselves and make sure that uh, something happens. It's extremely hard to be raised in Hungary being not only a woman but a gypsy woman because we have the man thinking that where is our place to be all the time, to be at the kitchen, to do this, to do that. And being uh, in a gypsy traditional family, you've got even more expectations that you cannot drive, you should stay home, you should have a lot of children and this should be your life. Szeretnénk így a beszélgetés végén még egyszer megköszönni a Pesé úrnak, hogy elfáradt hozzánk. Az őségekkel, tanulással, az őségekkel, ezzel a bizonyos ifjúsági tanács programmal. The most important message which I would like to give to them is coming from my own experience, because I belong to the Roma community from my father's side. 
He is coming from a traditional musician gypsy family and my mom is not belonging to the community. Therefore, I all the time had a mixture in me and all the time it was my, inter it was my um, people, it was my uh, colleagues, it was my friends who decided at what point I am a gypsy girl and at what point I'm just a Hungarian girl. And it is extremely hard. It's very, very bad for your own self-respect, your own views that uh, you need to find out who you are. And what I learned, where I was already much above 20, is that you don't need to choose. So until today, I tend to say that, yes, I'm a Hungarian woman, but I'm just a bit more spicier. So therefore, the, the big message is that everybody has this double identity, being a Hungarian woman, being a gypsy woman, but you don't need to choose. Nagyon köszönjük még egyszer, bízunk benne, hogy a következő romákat érintő legnagyobb megemlékezés. Among the different groups of, of the society, Köszönjük Adán. szépen a hallgatók. Igen, úgyhogy tartsatok velünk kedden és csütörtökön 18 órától 20 óráig, ahogy elmondtuk a bevezetésben.